we go, I'm making another rant about internet culture because I spend a lot of time on the internet and I think about internet culture and the way we interact on the internet a lot. So that's what we're gonna talk about again. This time it's specifically about the way we interact with each other on the internet and even more specifically with people we don't agree with or who try to criticize something that we do. Emotions, as we know, are on a very nuanced spectrum. There's love and hate and everything in between, but on the internet you seem to only get the extremes. And a lot of people forget that there's all these nuances on uh, in between. And this creates this kind of, if you're not with us, you're automatically against us. Or if you're not good, meaning on our side, you're inherently evil on the very far opposition's side. And that's just not always the case and not good grounds for healthy conversations. Because we need to have healthy, open-minded conversations to learn and grow as people also on the internet, because that's where you encounter a lot of people who would have different experiences and opinions than your own. Because everyone has access, well, almost everyone has access to the internet and therefore will be able to comment and talk to you. There's the, I love this thing and you don't 100% love this thing and can see flaws within it, so therefore you must hate it. No. You can like a thing and still see issues or have flaws within it, and you can point those things out without saying that you hate it, just saying these parts weren't something I absolutely loved. Honestly, as fans or people who appreciate something, I think it's very important that we stay critical and we think about, oh, this thing I don't really like, but I like all of this. And then we can compare our feelings and likes and dislikes with other people who enjoyed the thing. That was a lot of non-specific examples. I'm sorry, I hope you follow. And I just realized that my window is open and you might be able to hear a bird, but you know, let's just go with it. Nature, it's lovely. Constructive criticism is a very healthy thing. It's necessary for us to grow and learn, to hear what other people think. And when it comes to an, to an artist or a YouTuber, where I often see this, people saying, oh, I like this, this, and this. this, these things are some you can work on, but overall, great job in like the YouTube comments and suddenly all of their viewers and fans flood that one person with like, oh, how can you hate this if you've got nothing nice to say? Shut up. No. It's important that artists get constructive feedback and know what things are working and which things aren't. I know personally, I really appreciate that as long as it's constructive. Because of course there are trolls and there are hates on the internet. But when people aren't shouting insults at you, it's probably not a troll. It's probably just someone expressing their opinions. Which is another thing. Stop shouting insults at each other, please. You don't need to have a bunch of insults and swear words thrown into your conversations to get your message across. Actually, that will only hinder the message getting across. This often happens in more political conversations. Say I have one view and I'm talking to a person who has the opposite view. If I'm trying to tell them about my point of view and why I feel this way about this political thing, if I call them idiots or dumbasses or I don't know, all that my good insults just went away because I don't use them in my internet conversations or if I use a lot of swear words, they will feel like I'm attacking them and they'll immediately go to the defense. Instead of listening to what I say, they will find out, oh, well, how can I defend myself against this obvious attack? So if I use calm and nice conversation instead and explain it in a non-condescending, non-belittling like way, they're more, much more likely to hear my point of view and maybe I can convince them. And if not, they're more likely to share their point of view with me in the same calm and collected manner and we can have a nice political discussion without trying to rip each other's throat out and the world burning down around us. And trust me, that is so important, especially in today's day and age where everybody is so apart from each other, we need to be able to listen and have conversations without insults. Also on the internet, please. If you think of conversations and emotions like colors 
and you have all these wonderful different shades of every single color. There's not just blue and red and green. There's like violet and magenta and turquoise mixed in there and every other color on the spectrum. If you took those away and it suddenly became black and white, everything, we would live in a very, very boring, very divided world. And that's kind of where we're heading. It's love and hate. And it's, oh, you're doing everything perfect. Yes, I agree with everything you're saying. And, oh, you fucking idiot. Why can you think like that? Is retards like you that makes the world burn. Instead of going, I see what you're saying. I agree with this. And I have some thoughts about this or apprehensions about these points. Could you potentially explain why you feel this way? And logical arguments like, oh, I see what you're saying, but statistics show, and therefore I feel and I think. Just use better language so we can all come together and just be in a nicer world. And comment sections and tw Twitter replies won't be as terrifying anymore because it'll help us all a lot. As always, when I talk about things like this, I would love to know what your opinions are on it. And do you have any experiences with good conversations or do you have any experiences with the bad conversations? I'm quite sure that most of you will have experienced the, the shouting and insulty versions, but hopefully you've also have experienced the nice, calm and uh, collective conversations. Yeah, just what are your thoughts? What are your experiences? Share them with me and we can have nice discussions in the comments below. I hope I see you next time or in the future at some point and just have a nice day. Just have a nice day. Bye.